in the end, when I look at myself, I see Santa Claus in the mirror. I'm gifted and do the most deliveries when you listen with your ears. But as time went on and I saw lots of friends disappear, just like Christmas cheers when it's New Year's. Even if I was Santa and I come through the chimney, I beat all competition. I won't be the guy to get smoked up in this building. Check out what I'm going through since few people are actually asking me what's happening. First, my grandpa died. And that I even have to rhyme. A few months later, my other grandpa died. I didn't even have the time to analyze. And where were a lot of my so-called friends at at the time? Everybody and their mother has my line. Not many call up or message me asking why. How to push away the pain trapped inside the strange path of mine. Two different sides of my family dealing with tragedy. This is for you two fellas. I never showed you my artistic side. Only the sides that I thought you two would relish. I didn't get to be there either time. It's like I put my foot down and got shooed to the cellar. I miss you both. At least our relationships weren't ruined forever. You guys were great and so real to me, honestly. Even with plastic hips, there was not a fake bone in your bodies. Rest in peace, Urban and Francis. You both taught me a whole lot of things. I hope I don't suppress your lessons so they can work to my advantage. But there's people that pretend they see that I'm hurt and I'm sad. I still rap for my true fans because unlike me, they are deserving these chances. I fucking feel like I fell off a motorbike over enormous heights. I get into so many fights with people I like because I don't know how to cope and grow in life. I appreciate my blessings and try to conduct myself the right way. I do my best to help my folks out, but it doesn't always go down well like Maylox and Lidocaine. In real life, I want honor, respect, loyalty to be my strength in all of this. I know where my DNA comes from, but I could never be half the man that my father is. Lots of love lost because I've got so much hostility with no possible possibility of declining. There are people who only try to tear me down without doing the right thing, which is consulting with me when I'm not insulting you unless you start it first. A man's only good as his word. Well, if you heard and observed the accolades what Adam Stark has earned, my word must be worth at least close to the highest score on this shit. Like I said, in hip-hop, I have achieved so many motherfucking accomplishments. I've broken barriers in the English language with my arrangements. This is what people are knowing me for. I officially wrote the first sentence with five literal implied meanings in its final form. I've performed some of the world's fastest rapping when I grabbed a stopwatch and pressed record. I've freestyled so many times on camera with endurance and talent to the core. Tried every single style and rhyme pattern, never backed down from sharpening my sword. I was also the first to rhyme full-length sentences with every single syllable and so much more. Now I'm rubbing your fucking faces in it like I stole your photo ID badge and tried to open the door. I truly think some people hate me because I'm an alpha male figure. The corporate mainstream media hates people like that. Nah, they want a beta male sinner. A feminine male with no job, no responsibilities in his life. They brag about heinous, unequal treating feminist women type. Not the real women who work hard and do everything right. They don't like a man like me who works so hard and might look ugly, but trust me, I'm happily earning these scars. According to them, it's not cool unless you're a selfie-taken mental patient who hates kids and has a runny nose and goes to the ER. The corporate media loves the weak people, not the blue-collar mafia, as strange as it seems. Why shouldn't we trust them? Well, let's see what's on the top of that listing. They celebrated Alfred Kinsey on the fucking cover of Time Magazine? Fuck them. I only pay attention to what's right. Be successful in life. I strive to be the best on the mic every second in life. Making my list and checking it twice. Ha! I picked up a pencil. And that's what led up to the end of the line. If you didn't catch that metaphor, it ain't over. But the other mention is bright. As in smart, not dark. Because I'm not pessimistic or the unintelligent type. It's a judgmental world. If you don't fit the mold, you're scolded. And people look at you crazy. Stay in good health. Don't let your first push up be when you're pushing up daisies. Expect the unexpected. Learn from every rhyme that this author has offered. Just like Paul. He was driving, yet he still died labeled as a walker. What if... Only the highest church authorities can get into heaven despite our beliefs, though. We can reach to try and unlock heaven's door all we want, but it's only so hierarchies can go. Get it? So hierarchies can go? Don't ever be a fucking quitter, no matter what happened to transpire. To make it right, you do everything under the sun like a suicidal vampire. When people have challenged or asked things, Adam Stark doesn't avoid it. Fuck bad fathers who leave pregnant women, take their kids' lives and destroy it. Doctors can force those single women into labor, but that doesn't mean they're not continuing unemployment. My rhymes are relative to the present times. No matter when it is, I stay current. My rhymes are more up-to-date than a bitter divorce victim is. 
I want my voice to be the most powerful, like Ella Fitzgerald. The fallacies in your arguments are straw, man. I say go to hell with your scarecrow. I'm going off, yet I'm still completely well balanced. When have I ever been someone who isn't beating the challenge? I have so much experience, my status up the ladders won't be knocked off. Hey amateurs, I've been around the block a few times and so have you guys, but that's because you got lost. I could lie and make up some complete bullshit and you'll still find it dope. Which famous Jackson family sibling was a custodian? Janet or Michael? Get it? Janet or Michael? All jokes aside, there's changes to be made it seems. I'm far from perfect, my fears are the same as your fears. I don't want to switch, why F around and get four years? Get it? Because if I'm not scared anymore, then I could change the course of my life in these very unfortunate times. Think about that from the start, I have a vision while most people can't see past 100 yards. Negativity gets the best of us, no matter how positive your target is. I could do 10 things right for 10 straight nights and then do one thing wrong to tarnish it. Every single time I step out of my comfort zone, I just expanded the borders to be another specialty that becomes my role. For example, I wrote an entire book which is an action suspenseful thriller. Nothing but pure imagination that took me tenfold to new heights of experiences and skills earned. Do what makes life right for you, even if this insight for you means to get involved in church. As long as people remember my mantra, which is safety second and impulses first. That hating, raging, crazed, engage in making comments for me to stop being successful. They want me to be regretful, but they're gonna see something special. Let me slow it down and bring it back to speed like a taxi speeding past the people. That's been screaming for the last half the street that we've reaching past the people. Now the rest of this rap is a counterattack to the internet punks who run their mouth about me on a keyboard. One by one, I'll use punchlines till your screen's broken and you're officially being warned. Hater number one, you're on the jock of terrible MCs out there. You would be so kind to them and their company. If you were with all of them, it would be like a broken down apartment with a wobbly ceiling fan that's very crummy. Translation, that's you. The one annoying fan that's in the building blowing everybody. Hater number two, you hide behind fake accounts. It's like 30 different names you found it. You and your supporting cast are acting a role. Well, I'll do that too, man. With a big gun in this plot, I'm like Orson Welles. I get mad, then act on your set and direct the shots. Hater number three, give you a fierce fist to the face fast since you're always disrespecting me according to your report on my words. Then you'll really be mad. Breaking news, his face was hot off the press. Now that punch was fire. Get it? You lying critic? I'll explain since you can't write like me and you lack hip-hop common sense. Hot means mad, get pressed on means hit. Punch also means punchline and fire and hotness are synonymous. Hater number four, you're the drama queen on the scene. You're not loyal to your rotten team of haters. You're gone and when I fight back and you feed off my ammo when I spit out some heat. I know these things, but you're not often seen. For your crew, you wouldn't bite the bullet if you were a young gun or teen. Hater number five, you say I can't be a good rapper since I don't rap about guns or some shit. Well, I'll stack up and repeatedly shoot you with the same magazines time and time again. Read into that if you ain't seeing the facts. Hater number six. Besides you, I got another enemy in my pocket. Everyone knows to keep my enemies close, so here's the prospect. My knife ain't my friend, but I concentrate and watch as it wants to give you hickeys. My focus is on your neck. Hater number seven. You hate how my fictional violence is a form of art, yet you wish death for me, so if I die unexpectedly, it's not concerning you? Well, the same knife I just used, I'll slime the flu, freezing it into your organs like hypothermia. Hater number eight, you say I'm ugly as sin. Well, miss, maybe so, but that's just odd. You got that pissed off? You got mail. You're so ugly that the last time you made it to the third base at the band that had your panties strap are now underwear being sold as a rare collector's item in a clothing antique shop. Hater number nine, and beyond. The common fringe of the internet with ill intent to be all better. I have a beautiful girl puppy. I'll hand you a large picture. Pull out a shot you and buck shots to permanently put you to sleep. Translation, you got bucks to watch her and say goodnight. You're a dog sitter. Stop fucking with me and play nice. I would waste my time worrying about your judgments even with stage fright. If this battle I just had was at a park, it would be the sickest thing to be alone there once before and come now in great fear. Cause that person would think to themselves, was there a plague around here? 